So, what is going on, guys? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figuarts Zarbon from Dragon Ball Z. And I'm not sure if this guy was a, a premium Bandai exclusive or not. He seems like he goes for a little bit. I've seen, like, I can seemingly get him from, like, the collector spots that I've looked at, like CMD Store has him, but he's one of the more expensive figures. I think Toy Snowman also had him, but he was a little more expensive. I got him on eBay for about 100 which was actually a lot, like, a little cheaper than retail. So that's kind of nice. And as far as it goes with the Zarbon here, he was opened prior to me, but it was a collector-owned figure from a guy called Border City Toys. And I'd recommend checking him out because he has a lot of cool stuff up right now. He actually has the Tien and Chiaotzu that I bought for like, double the price, he has it for, like, one, I think it was 160 Canadian or something like that, I paid, like, 240 for mine, but they were mitten sealed mail or everything like that, nobody's seen, that. they haven't seen the light of day until I open them, but as far as it goes with Zardon here, the box looks pretty good, he does come in the Namekian Dragon Ball, and on the back we have pictures, including this nice little setup, but I don't own these two figures, and I don't really plan on, I don't really care about Dodoria and I already have a Frieza, so I'll stick with the Zarbon for now. Just for now. But that is the box. He also has this kind of nice uh, sand green color as his color on the box, which is cool. That's really it. Let's just take a look what's in the tray. And here is what's in the tray. We have three faces, a scouter, these, which are actually supposed to be on him. I have the wrong one on. I, I kind of forgot. The Dragon Ball, we then have an extra kind of braid, and then he only has a couple of extra hands. He only comes with one Key Blast hand, which is a bit of a shame, if I'm being honest with you. He doesn't really come with a lot of hands, but that's basically it for that, so let's just break him out of that packaging here. And here we have Zarbon out of the box. Oh, is it Cape actually comes off? That's the first time that's happened. I did not even know it came off. <laughs> But here he is out of the box, and he looks pretty good. I mean, he's exactly what you'd expect. He has a very odd design. I don't know why he has thigh highs. Why does he have thigh highs? Is that not weird? His arms, again, has like arm sleeves. They're kind of balled up towards the wrist. He does have the shoulder pads, just like the Captain Ginyu I reviewed. So they do move. They're a bit loose, though, unfortunately. So they don't really stay. But they are on, like, the same peg thing, so they do come off. The cape back here, you've seen that also comes off. He has his nice little braid back there, which, like I said, swappable piece. This is the one he comes with out of the box, which is the shorter one that goes oh, just down his back. I mean, paint-wise, there's a lot of different colors on the go. This kind of dark indigo color. We then have, like, a lavender. I don't know why dirt bikes constantly keep driving up the road. That's, like, three times in the last, like, ten seconds. Here comes another one. But we have this just looks good. Like, all of it. The cape's very good. The white, the brown, the green. He is a very colorful figure. Very colorful. And the only bit of gold, I think, is actually on the braid. So, that's nice. And, I mean, even with the face, there's a lot of nice paint, which we'll talk about when we take a look at the faces, because they all have a certain little thing. But, I mean, there's not really much more to say. I mean, he does have a typical Frieza armor. And, I mean, everything's good with his art on here. I don't have any issues at all. The cape's a little odd. It's like Piccolo. It's a big, solid hunk of plastic. Where with the new Gohan release, though I say new, it came out like two months ago, which is crazy, because I was still just getting into figure arts then when that thing released, but that Gohan has a fabric cape, and he's the only one of the Dragon Ball figures I've seen with a fabric cape. He just has a big hunk of plastic like Piccolo. Which, a bit of a shame, honestly. Just, I wish it might have been more. It does kind of hinder him a bit, because, again, it's just a giant hunk of plastic on his back. But that's really it for the look of him, so let's just take a look at the accessories real quick. And we're going lightning quick on the hands. He has, of course, fists. They all have fists. And he has a key blast hand, which everyone else also has. But he only has one, like I said, which is a little weird. Why does he only have one? It means he can only do right key blasts for some reason. Luckily, I have him posed right, but I don't use this hand. And, of course, for the next two sets here, we have a generic kind of basic open hand, which, oddly enough, I reversed. I have him on display with the left normal hand, 
and then this, like, I guess it's a blast? I'm gonna say it's a blast? I don't remember. It feels like forever ago I watched through the Frieza saga. Like, it feels like forever ago. Like, it was, like, March or April I watched that. Like, it feels so long ago. I don't remember much of Zardon, really. So, I mean, I'm barely in it, if I'm being honest. But I'm gonna guess that's a blast. Or he's just saying stop. But that's his hands. Or at least they're a little more unique. And the other one has a bit more of a use, which is for the thing you probably noticed in my hand, which is the Namekian Dragon Ball, which is different from the Captain Ginyu one. For those who don't know, there's two sets of these. There is two. There is the purely translucent set, which are the ones I like more, the one that comes with Ginyu. And then there's this more pearlescent looking set that seemingly comes with, I'm going to guess, him. The first form Frieza. Probably the second and third form Frieza. The Doria. And then I'm thinking Krillin and Bulma. I don't know if Bulma comes with one, actually. And uh, Gohan. So I'm going to guess they come with them. I don't know who exactly comes with them all, but yes, this is the more pearlescent one, and this is the two-star ball. At least it's a different ball. At least it's not the same four-star ball you get with Ginyu. That's nice. I mean, it's nice to have them. I like them, but I mean, I'm not going to go out of my way to collect them. Like I said, if I end up with like four of them, that's going to be a problem, but I'm not going to end up with four of them because I don't really care. <laughs> They're nice, though. I don't mind them. They're cool, and you can hold it. I shouldn't have put it back in the package, but you can hold it in this hand or with the key blast looking hand, but... That's really it for the hands, so let's just get into the head accessories, which there's a lot. Like, there's an ungodly amount of head accessories for this guy. Starting with the head accessories, there is a ton. So this is the default version you get out of the box. He just has the hair down. Typical, he has the braid around the back of the head, which is nice. If you don't like the braid, it is removable. But the problem I have is, yeah, that's a really tiny ball joint. I don't like the look of that. But if you have the other one, obviously, you take that, put that in. Luckily, this doesn't seem like it has that much of a hole. It's not, like, hard to get in and out, which is good. And that one just goes over his shoulder, which I kind of like that one. I have him posed with this on, with this one on. I like the one over the shoulder a little more than the one that's down. The other thing he comes with is this extra hair piece, which is like the front bang section here. That's removable. And the difference is probably not that different to you looking at it. But the difference is this one here can put on one of the other accessories. That being the scouter. Right here. So you just take Zarbon's face off like everybody else. And with Zarbon's face, you might as well just take a look at this. The standard neutral face. He has a nice silver paint there. The air rings are also picked out. But the left ear on every single face is removable. And I do mean it, because the I think Bardock also has a similar setup. But Bardock doesn't come... He comes with one ear. He comes with one ear. He comes with four ears, meaning if you lose the ear, you actually have four other ears. So you're not in deep trouble. Like, look how tiny this is you're gonna lose that if you don't keep the boxes you are losing that ear you're not keeping that around either way you can take the scouter and the new hair piece there and look at that you got a nice little scouter zarbon from the earlier parts of the frieza saga which yeah it looks pretty good honestly i do like that if i'm being honest with you it looks nice i do like the blue scouter was to Ginyu, who I think has a red one? No, he has a green one. I just looked up and seen. But, I mean, that looks good. Like I said, it's not the same for every face. Anyway, let's look at the other faces, speaking of. This face is kind of a smirking face, similar to neutral. I left that on because it's the face I display him with, so I said I might as well just leave it. And I mean, yeah, that's just pretty good. I like the little smirking faces. That's your extra face. He obviously comes with the two other generic faces after this one. Heath Grit face, which, yeah, that actually looks really good. I love these earlier Dragon Ball figures that they've been doing lately, like the new Vegetas that have come out, the other one with the kind of just the shoulder pad armor. The exaggerated face, also the Kui has the exact same. Is it Kui Kui or Kui? I don't know, I just call them Kui. But he ha they have these really exaggerated faces, and I love that about them. Those earlier Dragon Ball faces are awesome that they've been doing, and I love it. But this is, like, probably the best Teeth Griff face. This is pure rage. 
Then we have the screaming face, which looks a little wonky to me for some reason. Like, the tongue doesn't seem like it's in the right spot. I, I don't know. It looks like it's more of a fearful scream than, like, a pure anger. I feel like this is the angry face. This is more like Vegeta just one. <laughs> so that's what I see. I see Vegeta just one against Jazarbon. And that's what that is. Is him like, oh, as he's dying. Yep, that's that's what that is. That's the, oh no, the Dragon Balls. He took them. What do I do? Because I'm pretty sure, was he the last one standing of the of those three main, first guys? I think he was. But yeah, that's that's the face he has with that one. So that one's more of a scared yelling face. I don't see that as a rageful yelling face. As most yelling faces tend to look. Anyway, as far as it goes, that is basically all of the accessories you get with him. Covered not so quickly because he actually had some worth talking about. Which is crazy. I didn't even really show the scouter off either, which is well painted. There's the scouter, by the way. There, there, there it is. Looks really well painted and everything. Very nice for a little tiny hunk of plastic like that. That's a lot of good detailing. Just put those off to the side. Anyway, that's basically it, except for, of course, articulation time. Ball joint and head. You'll get more with the other one. The braid is on a ball joint, so you get all the articulation you want there. Ball joint at the neck. Forward and back at the shoulder, but it's really tight for some reason. We then have outward, swivel, double elbow, ball joint... We then have the typical wrists peg. A very good ab crunch for some reason. Rotation. Forward. Back. Outwards. Not too great, but oh well. Knee joint. A swivel there along with a tilt. Seems like it should be a little bit lower, but no, it's right there. There's actually just a bit of pant there. And then you have some toe. I say pants. They're not what are they're not pants. I guess they're just thigh highs. They're like pantyhose. Up with that. And then the cape, you just have outward. No rotation, really. Like I said, it is removable, but I just leave it, if I'm being honest. And that's basically just it for Zarbon, in a nutshell. So let's just get to my final thoughts on him, which are, he's pretty solid, actually. It's really weird. He's a character I just don't care about, and I basically bought, because eBay was like, you yeah, have $20 off any order over, like, whatever amount. And I was like, ooh, and about him and Gotenks. Not a joke. It's like you get one coupon. I'm going to admit this right now on camera. Yeah, I made a... I'm just going to call it a Smurf account for eBay. So I get that coupon. That's what that was. That's that's all that was. Was basically just, I wanted Zarbon and Gotenks. But Gotenks was more. So I was like, eh, let's, let's go with the, with the Zarbon. Anyway. As far as it goes, everything about him is good. Except really the cape just being a big hunk of plastic. He's just a character I don't care about. Like, he has a lot of good paint. His accessories are really good. I wish he had maybe another couple hands, but, like, I don't know where they're going to put them in the box. Like, it's at the point where you'd need, like, a cell thing where you'd have, like, that little extra side tray with hands. That's what that would have to be. And, I mean, as far as it goes with him, I just don't have any problems. He's just really solid, like... He's not the best thing ever. It's just a weird character that, I mean, if you're putting your Frieza Saga display, you kind of need. Again, I don't... I mean, I kind of have that. I have him and Ginyu and Frieza Final Form together. It makes no sense, by the way. But I did it anyway. As far as the rating goes, I'm going to give him a 4. I think he's pretty well worth it if you can get him for a good price. But he seemingly goes for a little bit more. He said, I think he's premium Bandai, which does affect his pricing. Premium Bandai figures are always more expensive, and I'm guessing he is, because like I said, you can't find him on Amazon or anything like that. I don't know if it's just because he's old, but everywhere I look, his price is high for some reason, and to me, it makes no sense that he's that high. Like, it's just like a fine price point. He's just a weird figure, and it, he actually makes sense for a Premium Bandai figure, because he's not like a main character. He's just a weird side villain from like early in the show. That's That's it. But as far as it goes, that is really it for my review of SH Figure Arts Zarbon. It's been Il Delete signing out.